Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24 to September 30th 2018 um, and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you that this is a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign this isn't your personal reading Therefore, uh, I will explain the cards, their positioning, and as well their synergy. However, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me, guys, to do that for you, then uh, you have to go for a personal reading. And to do so, visit my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Now, um, <clears throat> as this is the end of the summer, there is a, a summer and sale going on, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute service, making a total of 40 minutes. So, uh, we will go first with the tarot spread here, and this is a four card spread. Now, the first card is about the topic of uh, your Aquarius this week. The second card is about the core of the situation. Third card is about the challenges that you Aquarius should uh, face. And the last one is the guidance that Tarot offers to you Aquariuses. So, let's see what you got now. Now, the first card, that will be the Fool. The Fool, <clears throat> it's a, a very broad card as a, a meaning and manifestation. Now, in general, the Fool means a, a brand new beginning. Uh, or... Um, in most cases, it does mean that the, the door for a certain yearning or for a certain dream of yours is now open and you can embark a, a new road moving on forward. Now, the Fool in general says that this week, week it will be required from you at a certain point to take a leap of faith or the leap of faith. So, you know, you can make a reality something you really want and is a dream of yours, of course. But the full card is also associated with, um, with taking on a, a certain risks. And I will explain you what I'm talking about here. You should not be concerned about... Um, about what will be the process of following your dream at this very moment. The only concern for you should be the dream itself right now, so you can kind of boost your self-confidence, boost your determination, and kind of, uh, you know, gather up the courage so you can make the very first steps. Uh, something funny here, this is a, a background of the full card. Now, in the very... Uh, original tarot deck that the world knows, the Fool is um, painted as a, a jester. And the Fool is painted like this because only the jesters in one empire were allowed to say the truth in front of the king and get away with it. So the jester could make a scene that the king is a fool and the king you know, is doing stupid things around and everybody laughs, including the king or the emperor and the fool gets away unpunished. If someone from the very close the circle of the king says that, or the, the emperor say you are a fool, they are probably going to be either crucifi uh, crucified, hanged, you know, beheaded, etc, etc. So with that being said, uh, the fool asks you as well this week to be very sincere and very uh, Kandorian regarding, you know, your intentions, especially if you are interacting with other people. Um, as you know, as soon as something comes up in your mind, it will be beneficial for you to just say it. You know, if you don't like, for example, a certain person you're interacting with this particular week, then you shouldn't feel obliged to do so. Simply, you can say to them, you know, that you don't like them in general or you don't like a certain attitude of theirs, and you know, that way break ties with a, a negative. Um, you know, a negative influence of others upon your life. This is important because the fool needs to be surrounded by um, by very pure energies around them, all right? So you can kind of boost your self-confidence and follow your direction. And if we're talking about a, a relationship establishing here with the fool card as it is a brand new beginning, that could be the manifestation for you, you know, finding someone that you can be with, all right? I, I mean, the dream is... F 
is uh, further down the road into the future right now you are about to make the very first step for it uh, the fool requires from you to be light-hearted to be uh, to have a lack of premeditation to be spontaneous to be joyful you know and to be um, I don't know the English word about that term but rather to experience uh, the moment for the for the sake of the moment rather having a, a surreptitious intentions for the future so um, <clears throat> that being said this is the topic of the week and it does look like this week is going to present you with a, a brand new beginning here Aquarius says the queen of cups oh, the queen of wands excuse me as a core of the situation points only one thing and it says that this week you are going to experience the blessing of the fool because you are f you have found within yourself a certain knack of making good life so either enjoying a, a good company enjoying your relationship Relationship or enjoying a certain aspect of your job it is what you're going to do and this is exactly what is going to open you the door for the yearning that you do have uh, moreover the queen of wands especially when we talk about career it's um this queen is very professional in the sense of that this queen has a acute business sense and knows how the things should be pushed through so as well it is likely especially career wise that you may find a, a brilliant resolution to a certain problem at job and that's why your boss for example or the owner of the company is going to open you a door to evolve in the ladder of the hierarchy there then the next card is about the challenges and we do have the three of pentacles now the only reason this card comes up and the only challenge that that card could present itself is that you need to listen to others so the fool is very immature as i said the fool is very spontaneous and in some cases very inexperienced so if it is about your career as we are following this example um, the, the new part may throw you into a place where you have no clue how you need to deal with the responsibilities there and that's why you have to learn and what this card here says is that you may start feeling yourself cocky just because you recently made these brilliant brilliant maneuvers and resolutions you know that you are all knowing everything and that and, and thus deprive yourself from acquiring a, a crucial understanding of uh, the environment around you and as well you know turning people against you very important when uh, when you are walking down the road this week you know and you're living your life to listen what those more experienced than you has to say and take their advice under consideration now you don't have to follow it necessary but take it under consideration especially if the advice is supported by a critic because this card here points that you will be rather more touchy on critics also strengthened here with the queen of wands however behind those critics there will be a, a major positive feedback that you can extract learn from it and correct a, a certain um a, a certain false approach that you may have adopted recently and then the last card here it's about the guidance that tarot has to offer page of pentacles totally um contributes to the full card where it says that as soon as you establish this new road here you would rather want to um make it a devotion of yours so you have to devote all of yourself in it and when we talk about the page of pentacles it is important to be acknowledged that this is a, about a, a meticulous approach it is a, about slow and, sl and steady progress while in the same time you keep all of your current achievements in check not allowing everybody to kind of benefit on your behalf you know without um without notifying you funny thing here guys is that the fool and the, the page of pentacles they are natural enemies all right and that's why you will have a contradictory uh, these couple of cards here as the challenges and the advice points you that yes you will have the opportunity for the new beginning here right and for uh, making one step further um, toward a, a big dream of yours however this should be uh, made very carefully methodically and slowly as well before actually make the first step you should consider every kind of feedback you do have also advice and thoroughly thought uh, think through what kind of strategy you are going to adopt in order to take the leap of faith 
which will be required from you to do so. Uh, now, um, we are going to do the Lenormand reading, which uh, is going to show us a event happening for you, Aquarius, that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right, so let me cut. The first card is the bear, and the bear stands for a support, it stands for indulgence, it stands for mother. The next card, this is going to be the tower. The tower stands for government institution, it stands for seclusion, it stands for business as well. And then we do have the cross, which stands for misery, it stands for suffering, it stands for... Um, how can I place it? Um, not depression, but what was the word that I was about to say? Um, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to use suffering. Uh, now, what we do have is that you are going to indulge or stabilize here, sustain a business or a business venture, you know, which is otherwise suffering so this is the event or a, a support will be offered to you to sustain a, a business or to you know yeah build up a, a business with you which otherwise would suffer so this is a, a proposition i believe here that you should rather look forward to rather than to try to avoid as that is most likely business proposition you know or someone that has a, a pure intention to help you because the bear here with the absence of the snake or the absence of the fox in the Lenormand it is a, a, a supporter with a, a pure intentions so that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case uh, you're interested in a personal reading with me, because this is a general one for the star sign of Aquarius, and I have explained to you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the reading as well, you know, their positioning, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. But if you want me to do that for you guys, you go for a personal reading and to do so, all that you need to do is check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you can make your purchase, as well as you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye.